it's been a while, I think it's time to release some heat. Hello again, I'm Nathan. Welcome back to Was My Fault. Has been a little bit of time since I last did a whiskey review, or really any videos, but I'm trying to change that. I've been changing setups and all sorts of my computer and blah, 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 lots of stuff and work and COVID and everything else. And yeah, I'm back and I decided, since my favourite is the Isle of Whiskies, the really peaty ones and the smoky ones, I've got something called Smokehead. It's an Isle of single, single malt Scotch whiskey. I can't even talk. Distilled and bottled in Scotland, of course, being an Isle of Whiskey, it would have to be in Scotland because that's where Isle is. Okay, so we've tried a few of these. There was the famous Grouse Black, there was a little Foy, there's of course the Ardbeg, to name a few of the peated whiskies. I have tried Lagavulin, but only in one of the little sample sets I had before. It's an interesting looking. Yes. <laughs> well, you can see on the label there it's got a little like bar graph for peat intensity spice and sweetness peat intensity is top spice slightly and sweetness is about halfway 43 percent alcohol by volume hmm. all right what does it say intensely rich yet subtly sweet smoke out and body's a wild spirit and appeals to those with an appreciation for heavy earthy peat with immense smoke and notes of sea salt and spice this is a vigorous whiskey that stands out from the crowd. Distilled and bottled in Scotland by Ian McLeod Distilleries Limited. Interesting. Do I have a pull tab? Yes, I do. I know something I don't have though. I didn't grab my measure. I hope I've got it on the shelf behind me or else I'm gonna to have to find it somewhere else. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Ah, I did have it ready. That's good, 25 mil measure. As always, the camera setup spinning as I can't find my normal tripod. If I go back there, there we go. Right. How I've missed the pop of cork. I'm not saying I haven't had any whiskies, but I've not tried any new whiskies. You can see on the shelf behind me, I have a lot. Right. Oh, I've not had that for a while. Very much like Lafroig. Not sure how it compared to the others, but definitely it's got that iodine smell already. Not strong in the glass with the iodine. Definitely smoky. Yeah, smoky, iodine, sort of the sort of burnt smells that you often get. A little bit of kind of sea salt, fresh air sort of thing to it. A little bit fruity, kind of sultana or basin, that type of fruitiness to it. But it is mainly the kind of smoke and the sort of iodine medicinal kind of smell. Which I don't mind. I, I do quite like that because I like strong, unusual flavours. So let's see. Oh, definitely aftertaste. Mmm. It's got the, all the medicinal notes you expect from an Ida whiskey and the smokiness. It really kind of lingers slightly oily on the tongue. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, immediately you get the smoke. The medicinal is kind of, comes in a little bit, sort of in the middle, like the iodine and stuff like that. I can still taste it a little bit. So it does seem quite oily. Okay, yeah, seems to leave a little bit of a residue. Hmm. Yeah, slight sultana kind of nose to it, if I'd say there was some kind of fruit in it. A little bit of wood spiciness on the back end as well. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's incredibly strong, sort of peated flavours and smoke and kind of over the top. It does remind me of very much of Lafroy rather than Ardbeg. It's definitely more like Lafroy. Mm. Mm. That's nice. Yeah, a little bit of fruitiness and the peatedness. Yeah, that's quite good. I don't mind that. Right. 
little bit of water. See if we can open it up a little bit. Just a little drop. See if it makes any difference whatsoever. A little bit of a swirl, not too much. Tongues down the medicinal. It's still got the smoke, but not so much of the iodine, that type of smell to it, or germany as we'd have in the UK. Still a iodine well, but mm, germaline is kind of like the, the classic medicinal smell that I associate with that. Hmm. Take away some of the smoke. Ah, no, the smoke is more on the back end when you add water. Hmm. Well, yeah, the, the medicinal is still there. Not so much fruit, it's just, it, it makes it a little bit more bland. Some of the flavours are kind of mixed up. Yeah, the medicinal kind of lingers a lot more with that. Not, not quite so much smoke, but that's more kind of like hits you in the front end. Whereas the other way around, it was kind of the medicinal and then the smoke. Interesting, not so much of the kind of fruits and that sort of thing. All right. Master of the Mob, what do they say? So, on the nose. Smoke, Lapsang Sushong. Uh, cool wood smoke, thick and full. Palate, big, pucker and peat, smoky, fruity sweetness, touch of sherry, sultana, herbal, herbal, tangy fruits, and more peat smoke to finish. Yeah, pretty much, it's kind of what you expect from an Isla whiskey, I guess. I wouldn't say it's sort of the best one. I still think Ardbeg is a little bit more extreme than this, but it is nice. Mm. Yeah, it has all the classic Isla tastes and smells that you expect. A little bit stronger than some being 43%. A lot of them tend to be watered down to 40%, but that's quite nice. I don't mind that at all. Right, best get some coffee and everything else together and try it in all the different ways. I shall be back in a moment. Here we are again, with the same as always, ice, old-fashioned Pepsi Max, and black coffee, because that's how I like to do things. So, pop, 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 pop. Go. Look, 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 look. One, two. Sometimes I wonder if this is a bit of a waste because I don't always enjoy all of the different ways to have it. I sometimes find that it doesn't quite work as well as other varieties. Like bourbons work really well with Coke, especially if you like Jack Daniels. Well, it's not bourbon, it says Tennessee whiskey, but you know what I mean. They tend to have flavours that lend themselves better to this kind of thing, whereas Isla whiskies tend to go flat and a bit uninteresting because the flavours don't hold up in quite the same way, which is weird because you'd think, let me drip some of my coffee, you'd think that Isla whiskey being so kind of in your face would be a little bit better for retaining its flavour profile when you add something else to it that has a strong flavour, like Coke for instance or Pepsi. Right, ice first. No, it's still medicinal, that's always good. Yeah, a lot more of the alcohol burn and a lot more of the medicinal notes coming through. A little bit of smoke. It has lost all sweetness. The sweetness has just gone. So there's more of an alcohol burn. And I still sort of sense the smoke. Not a huge amount, but there's still a smoke there. And then it's the medicinal qualities that come through. And at the end, you get the kind of the wood spice coming through and the bit of the alcohol. And just a little bit of the iodine in the, in the end. It's not actually that bad. It holds up better than I thought it would. So I'm oh, quite impressed. Not bad at all. It is a lot more harsh. So don't look for any of the sweetness and the sultanas or any of that thing. Because that's gone. All right. Hmm. That's not bad. I said I didn't think that... That it was kind of one of the islands that just like punches you in the face with the peatiness. The medicinal comes through. There's, there's no smoke in the coke. I wouldn't call it smoky coke. It's an iodine coke. There is definitely the medicinal qualities are in there. 
which is quite interesting. It's not bad if you like those flavours, which I happen to. That's actually quite reasonable. Coffee, not expecting great drinks. Yeah, it brings a woodiness of coffee for some reason. Mm, not much else. Okay. Old fashioned, really not putting my hopes into this, but we'll see. Alcohol in it. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, no. There's something on the back end. So there's a stronger alcohol flavour. Obviously, the bitter. The sweetness from the simple syrup isn't coming through. The sweetness has gone from that. It's just bitter. A little bit of peatiness in it. So it's slight smoke, but once again, it's the medicinal qualities are coming through a little bit more. But it's mainly an alcohol burn. It's like I've put extra alcohol and no syrup. Let me mix that up again. That's not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting it to be sweet and bitter and not taste as much at all, but the alcohol is definitely coming through. There's a bit of a burn from it. Now the sweetness, now it's mixed up a little bit better, it's mixed up again. I'm getting the sweetness, definitely. A little bit of the medicinal, there's still that bit of alcohol burn in it. Hmm. That's not bad. That's actually one of the better ones for the Scottish whiskey. Well done. Now again, yeah, it's weird. Whiskey brings out, especially the Scottish whiskies and the Isla, brings out a woodiness to the Coke. I mean, coffee. I haven't had that much coffee. I was saying it while I was picking up Coke, so that's a Coke, but yeah, the coffee just tastes woody. It's really weird. Not unpleasant, but weird. Once again, yeah, the Coke's okay. Slight medicinal, a little bit of alcohol, not a huge amount of anything really, but yeah, it's okay. And the ice, now it's had a chance and it's broken the ice in two. Yeah, it's simplified it a lot. Oh. oh, a bit of a burn on the end. What kind of a spicy, alcoholy, woody burn? And the aftertaste is, is kind of bittery. Yeah, definitely all the sweetness is gone. So slightly bitter aftertaste with a bit of the medicinal qualities. That's okay though. And back to the normal with a little bit of water, but that should have kind of dissipated and got more to the original flavor. Let's see. Mm. Oh yeah, um, yeah. The peat smoke came through that time a lot more than anything else. When compared with everything else, yeah, there's a lot of peat peat smoke that I, I really do like. That's nice. Yeah, or the medicinal. It it kind of lingers at the end. So I said slightly oily kind of texture to it. I guess. Interesting. Well, I've enjoyed that. That's quite good. And I've got I said lots and lots of whiskeys. Another eight whiskeys. I think I've got that I haven't opened yet. Lots to do, but that would be good. I've got some fun stuff as well I've been saving. So thank you very much for joining me. I'm struggling to talk because I'm not used to this anymore. Ah. But anyway, thanks a lot. Please subscribe, like, comment. Tell me, have you tried it? Do you find the same things I've found? Have you tried different variations of it? I know there are some others, so it'll be interesting to find out. So thanks a lot for watching. Come back to see me again soon. Bye-bye.